that is a gift from God to meditate on the seven sorrows of the Blessed Virgin Mary. There are many graces attached to that. Our Lady is the Queen of Martyrs. She suffered more than all the martyrs combined together from the beginning of Christianity till the end. And she stands at the foot of the cross. Our Lady is the most important uh, part for us to grasp that if we cling to Our Lady, especially Our Lady of Sorrows, she too will teach us how to stand at the foot of the cross, that we don't flee. This is the problem in the church today. Nobody wants to suffer. People have flee from the cross. We're not supposed to flee from the cross. We're supposed to run to the cross. We're supposed to be crucified with Jesus Christ. St. Paul says, crucify. And all of us, myself included, we get mad when we're persecuted or somebody looks at us the wrong way. These are all minor things. We have to start praying to Our Lady, teach me how to embrace the cross. Because Catholicism is about crucifixion. Jesus said, if you want to be my disciple, deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow me. But today, most people are selfish. All they care about is themselves and their own ego and their pride. We must be crucified with Christ. Today's readings are appropriate. St. Paul in the letter of Corinthians, it says, we are a spectacle to the world. A spectacle to the world. We are fools for Christ. When we go today to process again with the Blessed Virgin Mary, don't be embarrassed. Put your pride aside because we are a spectacle, unfortunately, not only to the world, but we are a spectacle to the church. Today's church, not the true Virgin Bride of Christ, but the so-called church. Today, all hell is descending upon Dublin to promote the LGBT community. What a mockery. The devil is the ape of God. He inverts everything to mock God. And so God makes Eve for Adam. And so what does he say? No, Adam needs another man. Eve needs another woman. This is directly from the pits of hell. And those in the church are promoting this, the hierarchy, and the Pope himself by his acts of omission and his silence and his statements. This is a disgrace. And this brings down God's wrath upon us. And God is the only one who can fix this right now. God is the only one who can get us out of this mess and the Blessed Virgin. It's only going to be by listening to Our Lady of Fatima that we will have peace. She gave us the peace plan. And it's not easy in one sense because you can't be filled with pride if you're going to follow Our Lady of Fatima. You have to acknowledge that you are a sinner. You have to acknowledge that you must do prayer and penance and enter the kingdom of heaven. And that we also, Our Lady, makes it clear to us that you don't go to heaven alone. And you don't go to hell alone. And so we have to get that spirit of reparation in prayer. This mass is being offered up in reparation for the sins against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And we have to realize that we can not only save our own souls, but we can participate in the salvation of others. What a gift from God. And once this starts sinking in, hopefully like the saints, we will realize the value of the cross. That souls are not won by laying back and watching the world go by, by being caught up in yourself. Souls are won by shedding blood. I had a spiritual director who was a beautiful man. His name was Father Albert Evans. He was a priest of the Sacred Heart. And he had the blessing when he was in novitiate to be taught once in a while by Father Matteo. Father Matteo was the founder of the home enthronement of the Sacred and Immaculate Heart. And Father Matteo used to tell them as seminarians, you want to be a priest, huh? He goes, are you willing to pay the price? Are you willing to pay the price for souls? Someone has to pay. So 
someone has to pay.